Have you ever wondered how ancient Sumerian texts echo or contrast with the Christian understanding of creation? This intriguing question takes us into the heart of a fascinating comparative analysis. The Sumerian texts, some of the earliest known written narratives, are rich with insights into the religious, cultural and political dynamics of ancient Mesopotamia. Yet, from a Christian perspective, the Bible remains our primary source of truth about creation and humanity's role within it. Let's dive into the stark contrast between these two narratives. Genesis, the first book of the Bible, presents a unique creation story. In it, God creates the world, ex nihilo, or out of nothing, a concept foreign to many ancient cultures. In stark contrast, the Sumerian texts portray a chaotic beginning with gods emerging from primeval waters, which the Bible accounts for as the council of gods and or fallen angels. A significant difference lies in the depiction of human origins. Genesis describes humans as created in the image of God, asserting our inherent value, dignity and capacity for a relationship with our Creator. On the other hand, the Sumerian tablet of Nippur depicts humans as mere labourers for the gods, a starkly different view of human dignity and purpose. Consistent with the pre-flood biblical view of giants who walked the earth and enslaved men, the stories of Adam and Eve in Genesis and Adapa in the Sumerian texts present another intriguing comparison. Both narratives feature humans failing a test involving food, a symbol for life or wisdom. Yet the biblical account focuses on disobedience and the consequential fall of humanity into sin, laying the groundwork for the need for redemption. In contrast, the Sumerian story centers on a missed opportunity for immortality due to a lack of understanding. While similarities exist between these ancient Sumerian texts and the Bible, likely due to cultural interaction over centuries, Christians assert that Genesis provides a distinctive view on God, creation, and human nature. Its message transcends its cultural context, offering a universal perspective on God's sovereignty, human dignity, and our moral responsibilities. Even early church fathers, such as Augustine of Hippo, recognized this distinction. In his seminal work, City of God, he contrasted the Christian belief in a benevolent creator with other religious systems' deification of natural elements or human-like gods. In conclusion, while these ancient texts provide valuable historical insights into early civilizations' beliefs, they do not alter or challenge the biblical understanding of creation or humanity's place within it. For those interested in delving deeper, I recommend Ancient Near Eastern Thought in the Old Testament by John Walton and Augustine's The Literal Meaning of Genesis.